Okay, ready guys? Yes. Three, two, one, action. Okay. Hello everyone, I'm Antonio and today we're gonna explore Zhou Zi Wen Hua. What? Antonio! Sayuri, ¿qué haces aquí? Es que estoy paseando por todos lados y me encanta Fujian. Oh my god, you, guys, this is my friend Sayuri. I'm gonna let her introduce herself. Hello everyone, my name is Sayuri C and I'm from Panama. I'm so glad I'm gonna have a partner to explore this amazing place together. Well, first, I got a few questions for you though. Okay. Okay, so. If Confucius is compared to Socrates, who is compared to Plato in China? I know that one. It's Zhu Xi, or Zhu Zi as we all call. He is a famous Neo-Confucianist, thinker, philosopher, educator, and poet in the Song Dynasty. He's definitely the master of Confucianism. All right, so when it comes to the culmination of his story, where do you think of? I'll have to mention Jianyang District. Ah, you got me there. So let's go explore together. Hey, Antonio and Sayunis, here's a few challenges we have for you. Okay. Hello, Antonio and Sayulis. Welcome to Jianyang District. Today on your cultural tour of Zhuzi, we have prepared a few tasks for you guys. With these questions in hand, you shall start your journey. Hello. Hello, Hi. Antonio and Sayulis. Welcome to Hanquan Jinshe. This is the first academy founded by Zhu Zi in his early years and also the place where he lived in seclusion and observed filial piety for his mother. Oh, he was a very good son. Yeah. yeah. The scenic area consists of Jinxian Ho, Madame Zhu's tomb and Tianhu Lake. During his period of mourning, Zhu Zi dedicated himself to writing. And when talking about his writing, I can think of family rights and explanation of Taiji diagram. What else can you think of, Antonio? Zhu Xi also compiled one of the first books of philosophy in China called Jin Si Lu, which was also the outline of Northern Song Neo Confucianism. In fact, Han Quan Jing She has another great highlight. In recent years, Jianyang has used a variety of digital new media art for their exhibitions. <gasps> Look, this is Zhu Zi's AI powered chatbot. Wow, that's so cool. Look, there's Zhu Zi right there looking at us. He looks so realistic. It really feels like traveling back in time. Right? Let's go check it out. Yeah. Another interesting thing here is this smart floor which makes every single step of yours blossom like an actual flower. To do this crossword puzzle, I did many researches in advance. Really? Let's see what you got. Hello! Hello! Hi, nice. Wow. So after that fruitful conversation with the tour guide, we've learned that Zhu Xi has founded four academies in his life. Han Quan Jing Shou was his first. And Kaoting Academy was his last. The academy is surrounded by green mountains and lakes, creating a quiet and beautiful scenery. Passing through the gate of the academy, you will see a staircase in the shape of the Chinese character Zhong. At first glance, it looks like a really long flight of stairs with three sections and 161 steps in total. We arrive at Daoyuan Hall, where Zhu Zi once gave lectures. Walking into Daoyuan Hall, the scene of Zhu Xi giving lectures seems to appear right before my eyes. With this red plaque in my hand, my wishes will float freely in the air like a leaf. And our last stop today is Zhuzi Forest. 
The Zhu Zi Forest Scenic Area is mainly Zhu Wen Gong Cemetery and Zhu Wen Gong Memorial Hall. Wow, Antonio, this diagram of Zhu Zi's journey is so cute! Yeah, it also includes the trajectory of his life as he ages. The exhibition hall displays Zhu Xi's brilliant life through a variety of elements and methods. You know, our mm -hmm. tour guide just told us that walking up this cobblestone road made by people from 800 years ago, we would arrive at Zhu Zi's tomb. Even though these numbers reveal the rich history of Zhu Zi culture, it is only when you get here they can truly feel the cultural impact Zhuzhi's cultures brings to people. As a foreign student at Jinan University, it has been not only a journey to discover my roots, but also an extraordinary cultural experience. So Jianyang has a very deep bond with Zhuzhi, but it is also a land full of cultural heritage. We welcome everyone to Jianyang for a cultural journey that will stimulate both body and mind.